rules. My name is Katya Tilton and I'm the Assistant Department Head here at James D. Julia's for the Fine Arts, Asian and Antiques Division. I've been working here since 1997 and over all those years I've seen some truly amazing pieces come through and sell for outstanding prices. So I want to take the moment and thank you for visiting our site and show you some of the new and exciting items that are coming up. We are extremely excited to present an example from two of the most noted American carvers of the 19th century. The first an exceptional, fine, and important tobacconist figure of an Indian maiden attributed to Samuel Robb, who was an American sculptor best known for his carved wooden figures for tobacco shops and circus wagons. Samuel was born in New York City in 1851 and was the son of a Scottish shipwright. As such, he apprenticed to a shipbuilder for five years, many presume under Thomas Brooks. After these five years, he started carving figures for tobacco shops while participating in night classes at the National Academy of Design and Cooper Union. At the end of his apprenticeship, he went to work for William DeMuth and continued carving tobacco figures. It was in 1876 that he married Emma Jane Pelham and opened up his own carving shop. Sadly, Emma died just two years later, and Rob designed and built a monument to her referred to by some as, quote, Rob Roses, close quote. Rob's workshop was the largest in the 19th century New York City. His carvings range from traditional cigar store Indians to circus wagons and ventriloquist dummies. He closed his workshop at 114 Center Street in 1903 after completing a set of circus wagon car carvings for Barnum & Bailey. He died in 1928 in the same city he was born. This rare figure with feather headdress, long flowing hair, and feather decorated tunic is holding a box of cigars in her left arm and a bundle of cigars with box of plug tobacco in her right. She is seen holding a rose in her left hand which was inspired by the death of his wife Emma. Only a handful are known to exist and what is truly remarkable is this example retains mostly all of her original paint and decoration. She stands 56 inches high and is in very fine condition with only minor and small old repairs, losses, and imperfection. An outstanding example which would be a highlight in anyone's collection. The second is a fine carved tobacconist figure of an Indian attributed to Thomas Brooks. Brooks was also born in New York City in 1828 and apprenticed to John L. Kroll. In 1848, Brooks and his partner and fellow carver, Thomas Millard, opened their own shop on South Street. Throughout the years, Brooks moved to another location in New York City and then to Chicago in 1880-81. Many people believe that the major elements of the New York City show figure style were actually created and developed by Brooks during the 1850s and 60s. Brooks was renowned for his ship carvings as well as his leaning Indian figures featuring V-shaped headdress. These leaners were actually wooden Indians resting their elbows on log posts, barrels, or oversized cigars. After his death in 1895, Brooks shops were sold, but his son James continued the business from home until 1905. Our example reflects a full feather headdress, long flowing hair, and wearing a tunic trimmed in feathers. A bundle of cigars and box of tobacco are in the figure's left hand, and two other boxes with a sheaf of tobacco leaves are in the right. This 80-inch high figure, including base, believed to be on its second or third in-use paint decorated surface, has no restoration work and appears all original another outstanding example of one of our greatest carvers and will be an exceptional acquisition for the buyer. <laughs>